Susan Chan here, Feng Shui Realtor based in New York City. As a realtor in New York City, I usually hear the same general criteria from clients when looking for a new home. They want good light, good flow, and updated finishes. That's all great, but in addition to that criteria, here are three additional Feng Shui elements to keep an eye out for. One, curbish appeal. Curbish appeal is important because it's the first thing you see when you approach a home. If the outside is dark and dirty, you can bet nobody's gonna be banging down your door. In feng shui, the outside of your home is as important as the inside since it dictates how the opportunities and energy can find you. So be sure the outside is bright, friendly, and that the home address or apartment number is clearly visible. The second part of curbish appeal is the entryway. It's the other side of the door when you walk in. It's the first area you see when you come home and you want it to feel good since that will lead the energy for the rest of your time in your home. If you feel stressed by a narrow hallway or a ceiling overhang when you walk in, you can bet you're not gonna feel relaxed and it's not recommended. Your chi needs a really nice place to rest and relax when you arrive. Now, the second thing to look out for are windows. Although we love the light and airy spaces, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Too many windows, especially in a bedroom, can feel ungrounded and allow valuable chi to escape. Make sure the space feels airy, but grounded with a good balance of window to wall ratio. Now, the third thing to look out for are ceilings. Make sure the ceilings are not too low since it can feel oppressive or not too high where your energy feels too floaty and ungrounded. I know we love the look of exposed beams, but if you have bad health, avoid the beams because the pressure can make your health worse. Those are three general, but very important feng shui elements to look for in a new home. Now, depending on your goals, health and circumstances will customize the search based on those needs. Hopefully you'll keep these three important feng shui elements in mind, curbish appeal, windows, and ceiling height. Look for these three things, not just for your own comfort while living there, but also for resale value down the line. Tune in next week for more feng shui real estate tips. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. Did you like this video? Please subscribe or leave a comment or question and see you next Friday.